How's it going guys? It's the man, the man, the legend quad MFT here bringing you actually a really cool gameplay. Now the really cool thing about this gameplay was I was having a blast the entire time. I was having so much fun. I was talking to a few buddies. They weren't particularly in this game that I was playing. But the reason why I'm here to talk to you guys today is to teach you guys how to keep Call of Duty alive, how to keep it constantly going, make you want to play the next day, get up the next morning, make you want to play, put that controller in your hands, and just have a lot of fun. So what I do in this game to keep it alive is I really, really like to play Sharpshooter. Now, Sharpshooter hasn't been in every single Call of Duty. It was back in Black Ops 1. In fact, it was a wager match. It wasn't in Modern Warfare 3, which really disappointed me, but it was in Black Ops 2, and that's really what I like to do. I love playing Sharpshooter, and the reasoning behind why I really like to play Sharpshooter is because because it's constantly going you constantly have to be aware and know what's going on and you're constantly getting new guns with random attachments against different enemies on newer maps and you're always getting new perks guys and you're always getting double XP if you guys didn't already it is the fastest way to rank up in black ops 2 I can guarantee you on that especially during the double XP weekends I've seen a few people get around 70 to 80 thousand XP in a match when it's a double XP weekend you may not believe me right there but trust me guys I've seen the pictures I've seen the proof trust me it's all real but uh, why I think Call of Duty starting to die down a little little bit not necessarily die down like the whole series like people are starting to play it a little bit less I just think they need to start with something new that's what I think the new Call of Duty needs something brand new fresh run off a new engine but we're not here to talk about the new Call of Duty today that will definitely be in a future video we're here to talk about how you can make Call of Duty last and the reason why I think Call of Duty is starting to sort of lower down and die down a little bit is because this game's been out for around five months now if you guys didn't know of course it is March maybe you guys are hiding under a rock or something if you guys didn't know already we are getting pretty close to my birthday March 6th if you guys didn't know already but trust me guys you really just want to play sharpshooter you want to switch it up if you use the same gun in the same game mode playing with the same friends every single day only back and in and out if you play on the same map like raid or something like that constantly using the pdw you guys really you're gonna get bored with the game trust me i've done that before i did that a lot back in modern warfare 3 i still played the game quite a bit just because i really enjoyed doing it i really enjoyed the game i really enjoy black ops 2 also i played every game i own every single call of duty out there i believe except for call of duty 1 and 2 i do really really own Call of Duty 3 and the rest above from there but it's just a great game honestly I love Call of Duty I love just switching it up guys so that's really what you want to do you want to do different things maybe you don't always have to constantly be playing Black Ops 2 I'll probably have a few video games and video games up just th that are different you know guys I like to switch it up on my channel I like to give you guys my real personality and just I, I overall really really like to entertain you guys there may be a few Modern Warfare 2 videos coming up pretty soon because I really really like Modern Warfare 2 that was the Call of Duty that I started on I didn't start any OG COD 4 player I wasn't like that but COD 4 is a great game Black Ops 2 is a really good game and again guys it's about the time in March where people are gonna start to calm down so tell me in the comment section down below what games you guys would like to see because I'm all for it I'll do exactly what you guys want to do show you show you the games that you guys want to see me play so do not forget put that down in the comment section below Something else that I like to really see you guys put down in the comment section below is what you guys do to keep Call of Duty alive for you, to keep it fresh, to keep you wanting to come back over and over. But for me right now, what I really like to do is I like to play a lot of private match. I know it may sound a little bit weird and a little bit different because you can't rank up, you can't do too much. Excuse me right there, I really think you can do a lot in private match. In fact, I think the possibilities are endless. Private match is so much fun for me, guys. I love private match, especially when playing with a few friends or subscribers. And if you guys want to know when I'm hosting a different open live, or something you guys can go and like my Facebook page down in the description below I like to post on there and tell you guys whenever I'm having having an open lobby also you can go and follow me on Twitter that's probably the best place to interact with me if you guys want to talk to me or something like that go and follow me at quad MFT in the description below I really like to interact with my subscribers a lot there that's also how I'll how and what I will notify you guys through if I'm doing an open lobby but again guys tell me down in the comment section below what you guys and how you guys really like to keep Call of Duty Black Ops 2 alive and want you to keep on coming back I just wanted to say something that trust me guys I don't get to say too often I really if, if I could say in every single video I really would guys I just wanted to say a simple thank you thank you for all the support on my videos it really means a lot every comment every favor every subscription every single like guys they all count when you go and like my Facebook page and you go and follow me on Twitter all of those they really help me grow my channel and they just help me interact with my subscribers because right now ever since I started YouTube I've been loving it I've been loving getting getting up and making the video that day and uploading and just 
you're seeing all the responses that I can get guys I love it if you guys can go and tell one of your friends about my videos that'd be absolutely insane if every single one of you guys went and told your friends about my videos I'd probably have pretty close to 10,000 subscribers that's pretty insane guys if you could go and tell two friends that'd be even crazier so again guys thank you so much if you guys could remember remember to leave a like rating down below that'd be absolutely crazy guys likes always help me out if we could try and hit 125 likes on this video that'd be really cool it's been quantum ft remember to subscribe for more and i'll see you next time